You and me, let's get in some intense 45 second sprint intervals today on the rower. This is just gonna be plain and simple. We're just gonna hit it hard, hop onto your rower. Nothing to wait for, nothing to worry about. We're gonna get you in the zone. I, you, and me, we're gonna get into it today. Hop on your machine, grab that handle, sit ready. We're gonna start our warm up in three, two, one, and off we go. Okay, whoop, gotta start my wash. Here we go, we're just light, easy cruising. Ah. Yes, there we go. Okay, light, easy cruising, just to move about and start getting your legs under. You may notice that I'm a little bit sweaty already. Well. It is a cool 95 degrees here today. So wherever you are, if you're in some hot weather, know that I'm here with you. And if you're in some cold weather and doing this, well, imagine my heat. <laughs> so here's the deal. This is gonna be 45 second pushes with one minute rest today. When we go, stroke rate will be at 28. Okay, at 28. During that time, I want you to go for it. You gotta hold back a little bit something in the tank because each time we're gonna have to repeat it, right? We're gonna repeat it 12 times. We're gonna do 12 intervals of this. So you gotta survive for 12 intervals, but you're gonna get a whole minute of rest off afterwards. Now, as you go through this, every two rounds, I want you to think about getting a little bit faster. So, obviously don't sandbag it, the first one, but do know that the intent is every two rounds, we move the needle a little bit. Let's see what we can do, okay? Think of this as learning how to pace yourself, learning how to, to measure your effort. And one of the beautiful parts about that is that relays wonderfully into life. How do we measure our efforts? How do we realize that we've got more than just zero and pedal to the floor? Life doesn't operate like that. We need our ups and our downs. It's kind of poetic from rowing and that you get these rest windows and these work windows. It teaches you that there's a time to go, there's a time to rest, and even when it's time to go, there are different levels of go. All right, sometimes you just need to give minimum effort. Sometimes you need to give maximum. And sometimes it needs to be just right. And that's what we're going for today. Finding that just right, okay? Now, if this is your first time here, I'm Shane Farmer. Welcome. I'd like to cordially welcome you to Dark Horse Headquarters, where we help you build the life you want to live, and we usually use rowing to accomplish that. So we're still just warming up now. Okay, no worries. We're just getting our legs underneath us. Just gonna throw in a little quick drill here. We're gonna take it to arms only. That means legs are gonna be straight, trunk is gonna be open, and we're gonna row with just our arms. Let's finish out this warm up. Here we go, arms only. Just follow my rhythm. This is helping you to establish rhythm on the machine. Mechanics are one of the greatest things you can sort out for yourself. Let's add in the hip swing, but not the legs. In one and two, here we go. Hip swing and legs. Try to match my rate. Try not to exceed me. Realize that it's measured. Again, it's concentration, it's effort, it's connection to the machine. And in two, let's add in the legs. That was one. That's two, here we go, adding in the legs. That was just a quick brief on getting the stroke right for you. 15 seconds until we start our first interval. You should be ready to go. Start pushing through those feet a little bit more. Hear your machine getting a little bit louder. Rate's gonna jump to 28 for 45 seconds. In three, two, one, and let's go. Remember, every two rounds I want you getting faster. I gotta bring the rate up for you. There we go. So meet me on rate. Now, learn how do you adjust your push here? How do you adjust the effort you give at this rate? Understand that it's not just all or nothing. Breathing. And nice, cool minute here. That was it. That's that feeling. Now you know what each one is gonna be, okay? So during this minute rest, if you must, if you absolutely must, 
you can stop or grab water. But I encourage you, I implore, uh, less than implore, I don't fully implore. I lightly implore, I beguile you to just chill and keep moving. Stopping means your body has to figure out how to start up again every time. And you go between these really high highs and low lows. When you just cruise, you kind of keep your body a little bit more warm. And it's also a bit of a discipline thing. So there's some value to that too. So we're about to pick it back up. Again, try to make this exactly the same effort as last time. So maybe like 75, 80% effort, something like that. Two, one, here we go. Pushing through your feet. Imagine that you're on the water right now in a boat. And you can see the ghosted version. You ever play video games and you get the ghost version? Imagine you can see the ghost version of yourself. And you're just shoulder to shoulder. Picture yourself right there. Not moving ahead. Not falling behind. Just stroke for stroke with that ghosted image of yourself. Here we go, chilling out again. Here comes the beguiling. <laughs> Is that the right usage of the, the word? <laughs> Am I using a completely inappropriate word? <laughs> I'm glad I'm able to entertain myself while doing this in an effort to entertain you. And hopefully you're getting a chuckle. Because <laughs> Lord knows I'm having a good time. All right. Just settling in. Now, you set that ghosted image of yourself. Now each round, I want you to picture you're just adding another ghosted image. So by the time this workout's done, there are gonna be 12 versions of you that you're racing, you're on that water. It's cool, it's in the morning. There's a mist on the water. The water's nice and calm, you're out before anybody else. Here we go. This time you're gonna beat that, those two images previously. Here we go, picking it up, 28. You're gonna beat those two images by just a stroke. Not a lot. You're watching them, you're keeping those eyes on that ghosted image. Move just one inch ahead. Now move another inch. That blade is about, the oar blade is about yeah, seven inches. Just imagine it. Try to get that far ahead. It's not a lot, it's just a little. Here we go. You're settling in now. You're feeling smooth. Now, I don't know about you, my body of water, where I'm rowing, it's Mission Bay here in San Diego. It's a protected bay of water. That's where I grew up rowing. Maybe you've got a lake nearby. Maybe it's a river. Maybe it's a creek. Maybe it's like a, a wide-ish creek. You gotta think, it's gotta be wide enough for the, those long oars to fit. So yeah, maybe a small river. But wherever you are, it's super calm. Just you can't even hear the water. You're the only one out there. The early morning hours, that fog surrounds you, but you can see just enough all the way to the shoreline, wherever it may be. And whenever you go, you wanna hear that water running along the bottom of the boat. It makes this beautiful trickle sound. Let's go. Come on, match up with that last ghosted image. You're working in pairs here. So you know what you did that last time? Now you're trying to match up with that last version of yourself, which is gonna be six, seven inches ahead of the previous versions. You're working in tandem. Be a partner to yourself. Not working against yourself right now. Working against the previous versions and in conjunction with your partner self. 
All right, settling back down. Next up, gotta move again. This time, you're gonna be able to actually see the back of the head of that first round. Now you're gonna be about seven inches ahead of your previous partner pair. So this is, you're now your fifth version of yourself. Every time you get a little bit stronger, a little bit more focused, a little bit more committed, you learn a little bit more, a little bit more competitive spirit, that dark horse inside you comes out. You're not willing to accept anything less than perfect. And perfect is measured in this instance. It's not everything every round. It's measured, control. It's beautiful on that picture perfect water. Getting in three, two, one. Here we go. Setting that new standard. Small adjustments, move the needle. Here we go. Now you set that new standard. Next time, it's yours to match. Breathe. You're probably starting to get to that point where you're feeling it now. I'm feeling good, I don't know about you. I feel the tinglys. I like seeing myself back there. I like setting a standard every two and then trying to just partner with myself. There's something about moving on the water with someone else. There's no talking when you're in a boat. It's just effort. Nobody chatters, never. It's just quiet on the water. You're respecting the silence and respecting the hard work. Let's go. Matching the last effort. Let's go. Picking that. Matching shoulder to shoulder. Feels good. You're right in stride. You're perfectly overlaid for the last round version of yourself. All right. We're gonna step it up again after this. You're exactly halfway done now. 12 rounds, that's six gone. <sighs> Setting a new standard this time. <sighs> now you're moving down that river. You're starting to get a little bit of clearing of the fog. Now you get a little better picture of the trees surrounding you. <sighs> hey, maybe there aren't trees. Maybe you're in the high desert. Maybe it's a reservoir. <sighs> and it's just mountains surrounding you. High desert mountains. <laughs> Wherever it is, just picture it. Take a look around. See it in your mind's eye. Let your mind zone out into what you're doing. And nothing but appreciate being there. We're getting ready to pick it up in three, two, one. Push through that water. Let's go, drop the oar in. Rowing is about connected effort not flailing. You're trying to deliver as much value as you can in every stroke. So bring that focus into the stroke. Not elsewhere. Don't try to take more of them. Try to take better strokes.
There we go. New marker set. At this point, that first version of yourself, that first pair, they're way out in front behind you. You can see them clearly. You're like, man, I thought I was given a lot then. No, no, no. You were given just the right amount. And it's that inside, it's that little voice right here. It's like, we've got more. We got more to give. We're not satisfied, we're not happy with that. That was a good effort then. It was. But right now, we got a better effort. We're gonna match it right here. We're just right overlay with last round. Making it perfect. Going in three, two, one. Here we go. Use those legs. Drop your oars into the water. Send the boat with every stroke. Imagine watching it glide. The perfect glide comes from the perfect stroke where you really send the effort. And then the boat just moves on its own. It's almost like a slingshot. Every stroke, you whoom, send it, and the boat just runs without you. That's rowing. That's what happens. You have these moments where the boat's just moving itself. You're just long for the ride. It's in those moments that you wanna relax as much as you can. Let the boat do the effort, and then pick it up perfectly on time with when it starts to slow down. That's the fun, that's the nuance of rowing. That's when stuff gets real interesting, is when you understand that. And that just comes with time. You come here, you do more workouts with me, it'll start to make sense. You'll have that bing, that light bulb. You're like, oh, yes, that makes so much sense, it feels so much better. I got you, I got you. Let's go, two, one. New effort here, push it out again this time. Just a little bit more. A few inches more than the last one. Concerted, push through the legs, brace through the core. Like a slingshot. That handle accelerates all the way through the body. With intention. Just like the reason you showed up today. You were here intentionally. So it wasn't an accident. You're getting work done. Before hours, after hours. When everyone else is sleeping, you're here. Putting in that dark horse effort. You put in that dark horse effort here with me so that the rest of the day, the rest of your life, you put in that dark horse effort in other areas too. This is just the stomping grounds. This is the stomping grounds. This is your practice. This is where you get to test. Where do I find the go? Where do I find the personal responsibility? Where do I find that dig inside of me? So when I step off this machine, I don't leave it on the machine. The machine fuels me. It fills up my tank. So that the rest of the day, I just know what I did. I know what I'm capable of. Nothing can stack up. I know I've got it. Nothing can stop me. Let's go, pick it up. We're matching that last effort now. Pick it up, be strong. Be intentional. Nothing but what you want at the end of every stroke. Every stroke adds up to a piece. Every piece adds up to a workout. 
You've got everything you want. It's just inside you. You gotta discover it. We got two rounds left. And now, if you look all the way out, hell, that first version of yourself is barely in sight anymore. You've made so much progress. You get to look at that and know that when we started, that's what you thought your effort was. It wasn't. It wasn't the time, but you always elevate yourself. You can always find higher metrics. Elevated performance, more inside of you than you know you have. That's why the last round or two is always rainbows and butterflies. It's hopes and dreams, because you can survive on that. You'd be surprised if you do the work when it gets tough. Two, one, let's go, picking it up. This is your final two rounds. These are gonna be your fastest yet. Nothing but perfect, every stroke. Feel your body squeeze against the tension. Measured effort. Nothing is luck here. Everything is effort. Be the dark horse. Test your inner dark horse right now. Well done. One to go. This is not gonna be a workout where you flop over afterwards. It's gonna be a workout where after your last stroke, we grab a drink of water, we pick up that handle, and we just keep moving, light and easy. We recover calmly. We don't panic under pressure. A dark horse knows that you've got it. You have the resolve. If you can push this hard for another round, you can certainly hold on to that handle while you just paddle lightly. Getting ready to pick it up in 10 seconds. It's our final round. Feel free to open up on this one. Put that throttle all the way to the floor. What do you got? Three, two, one. Let's go. Nothing is an accident. Everything you do with intention. Train yourself to stay engaged. more strokes and we'll grab a drink of water, a bite of water. One, two, let's grab a drink. Oh, normally, I don't put ice in my water, but with 95 degrees, I'll make an exception today. And that ice is a good choice. Whew. Okay, light cool down now. So what was it about today that hooked you? I wanna hear about it in the comments below. What did you learn in that eighth through 12th round? What did you find out? What have you not been telling yourself? 
or not been hearing. Maybe your body was telling you, but you weren't listening. I think we peeled back. We opened the cover on a new book today, huh? What'd you learn? Talk about it. Bring it to the comments. You're surrounded by dark horses here. Everybody gets it. Be vulnerable. I found new tie-ins to my body. I wasn't feeling that connected earlier in the day. And I felt locked in eight through 12. Something, something about talking that through with you <laughs> really shined for me. And I found connection. You know what it gave me is a little bit of focus. I've been, felt, I've been feeling a little bit distracted, pulled in different directions lately. I have a family, I run the business, we have people that work for me, we got all of you. We have our members and the crew. And I've been feeling pulled in different directions. Something about this, this focus, just this solitary effort felt really good and I liked talking you, to you through it. You know, most of the stuff you hear me say, it's not, <laughs> It's because I'm feeling it as I say it. Little trick of the trade. <laughs> Most coaches, whatever they're saying, they're probably feeling it. And that's why it comes up. We do our best to put ourselves in your shoes. But you know, sometimes, sometimes you just, we talk, I, I speak from experience. What am I feeling right now? Ah, yeah, I'm feeling the need to push it and understand what I'm, what I'm capable of. And man, I found some splits there that I didn't think I was gonna hit with you today, so thank you for that. Now you may notice your effort starting to come up a little bit. <clears throat> Whenever we're, we're recovering like this, you always wanna be making sure you're still using good mechanics. Never, never stop when you're done with a workout, keep moving. Your body needs that continued effort to continue to move blood, oxygen, nutrients. It's all the muscles that just had to do work. If you just drop your handle, keel over, walk away, you're gonna feel it. Your body's not gonna recover as quickly. It's not gonna be as happy. So I always encourage you, stay on, just for a little bit. Spin it out and slowly wind your effort down. Speaking of which, start to turn it off a little bit. Just think about mechanics, think about your body. And hey, if this is your first workout or if you're here and you've done tons of our workouts and you haven't done it before, hit your subscribe button. Gosh, come back for more. <laughs> when you subscribe, it's gonna tell you when we come out with new workouts. They're gonna pop up on your YouTube home screen, so do that. And then if you're wanting to join the crew, take the next step, get coaching from me, find all our programs. I got a two week free description, two week free trial linked in the description, so do that too, do it. All right, I'll see you in the next one.